Okay. So welcome everybody to the uh, in bulk ritual 2023 and starting a whole new a whole new round of um, you know connecting virtually and inviting these divine energies to come into us and move through us and move into our lives. So I did, as I just mentioned before I started to record, um, I do want to play a song to start. Oh, which means that I need to put it on this so that you can hear everything. Um, this is Dave the Bard. It is his um, song from the album Antlered Crown and Standing Stone. And it's his song to Bridget or Breeds who certainly is one of the aspects and faces of the goddess that we will be connecting to today. So just to start to sort of land in the space and connect in with, you know, what you have put on your altar, just listen to the words of this song um, as we move into this sacred space. of 
We've made it to the midpoint of the winter, winter dark and bleak. From this day on, the sun will climb and thaw the grounds and creeks. Bless us now, O maiden fair, and keep us in your loving care. Show signs of new life everywhere as you awaken from your sleep. Early spring brings the first tender moments of thaw, perhaps more so in some places in the world than in other places in the world. <laughs> but there are moments. This is the time that invites the waters of alchemical dissolution to wash away the grit of negativity that still may be sticking to the psyche. And as our energy becomes clear of the old heaviness of the past, and it may come in fits and starts, but gradually our emotions can run as clear as fresh spring water, guiding us towards our pure intent. And so this ritual invites you to imagine that you are sitting by a sacred well, sitting by Bridget's sacred well, or Bryant's sacred river, opening yourself to allowing the negativity to wash away, the cleansing to come, the purifying of inner space. And imagine as you sit by that place that you are gathering the reeds to weave your own breeds cross, weaving the intentions of what it is that you are choosing to bring into this whole next great grand cycle. Weaving protection and intention for your inner child. That place inside that that is the sacred container of your emotional life and the way that you experience your world. So I invite you to close your eyes. And start to focus on your breaths. And with each of four breaths, bring your awareness fully to each of the four directions that surround you. And the elements that are aligned with them.
breathe into north and the element of earth. Breathe into east and the element of air. Breathe into south and the element of fire. And if you have a tea light in a, ca in a cauldron in front of you at this moment, you can light that. And breathe into west and the element of water. And be aware of the waters that are in front of you as well. And with each of the next two breaths, bring your awareness fully into the below and into the above. Breathe into the below and feel the unwavering foundation of the earthbound material plane. And be aware of all the peoples who have been in that place where you are before you. And your ancestors. and all the ancestral peoples. Breathe into the above and expand into the limitless breadth of the cosmic plane. And be aware of all the moments that have come before. We are but a dot. Just a nanosecond. And with your next breath, find the place in the center of all of that, your spot, the spot that you hold, the hub of all that nanosecond that holds all moments within it. Find the place that connects the four directions, the above, the below, coming together in center, and the element of ether, energy of spirit. If you have Reflections of the divine on your altar, take a moment to acknowledge them. Or within your heart, acknowledging the divine presence that is in this space with you. And take several more deep breaths and know that you are in the center of this sacred space. You too hold the space in the very hub of the universe. You are the meeting place of spirit above and matter below and the magic that surrounds. And I share these words from Christopher Hughes, the one who introduced me to that stream, the sacred river, not a stream, it's a river of uh, Brent. As the sacred mother stirs and spring begins its wake, a candle white and coin of bronze to the river now do I take. 
And there in shade and moonlight's glow, bid farewell to ice and snow, for winter has served the worst it can bring. And Braint now offers the promise of spring. With flame aloft in the hand of power, cast a coin to sing back the flowers. A ribbon bright and knotted tight, a clutie tied to a branch of light. Call now forth for spring to climb and to the maiden sing in rhyme. Braint breed briganti, goddess of flame and light. I sing my spell of swelling bud, light shall conquer night. Breed braint brigantia, a candle to you I raise, blessed maiden of the spring, your awakening I praise. And this energy, this young energy, youth energy, spring energy, potential energy is energy that rises in you as well. If you have a picture of yourself as a child on the altar, begin to focus on that now. Take some time to look into the eyes of that child. Imagine yourself sitting by the sacred well or the sacred stream or the sacred river with that child. And when you're ready, When you feel that connection to that child, light the candle in front of you. If it is a colored candle in alignment with the cycles, orange, the one that alights the light in the eyes of that child. Just take some time to connect to that part of you. Take some time to seek out where that part of you resides within. Imagine that you are sitting with that part of you and gathering up all the reeds to weave together. And it is the love of the child within that is the impetus for crafting your breed's cross. This is the part of you that tells you how you are feeling about what is happening in your life. It is the part of you that guides you to remember the truth of who you are. It is the part of you that informs you of your needs, reassures you of their validity, and urges you to always remember that you matter. 
It is this part of us that needs to be protected, always known, being shown that he or she or they matter. And so holding love for that part of yourself in your heart reach for the first strand that you will be using in your three-armed cross and touch it to your heart bless it with love for your inner child and dip it into the water of your cauldron blessing it anointing it with that divine blessing and then you bend it in half with each of the strands that you use to craft your breed's cross do this hold it to your heart bless it anoint it in the waters of the cauldron bless it and then fold it weave it into the cross and as you do as you weave these three arms, also contemplate what do they represent for you. It might be the relationship between your inner child and your higher self and your conscious self. It might be the synthesis of the human below and the spirit above and that heart that alchemizes them, might be past, present, future, might be three aspects that you want to weave into the year to come, whatever it is. But weave with intention.
And as you come to the end of your weaving, if you're using pipe cleaners, you can take one and wrap it around the end to hold it tight. If you're using something else, you can use string or, or even some of the element of what you have been weaving. Just wrap it around and make sure that it's tight. When it is done, again, just take a moment, contemplate what you have created, close your eyes, connect with that child within. You can gift it to the child, say this, we wove this together and this is a gift to you. And this is a reflection of my love for you. And this is my promise of my protection of you. And this is my hope for all that we are going to experience together moving forward. You can as well, if you choose. For those of you who are familiar with the technique of havening, it's a really beautiful thing to do in this moment. Just sitting by that sacred well or that sacred river or that sacred stream with the child. And just havening, holding the love for that child in your heart and just allowing the flow of gentleness 
gentle rhythm to wash over you. It is peace. It is love. It is healing. Look through the darkness and you will see the spark growing for all to see to warm the earth, to warm our souls. The seeds we plant begin to grow. The goals you set and magic worked was it all for knowledge, wisdom, and mirth? To help the gods and your fellow man. To grow strong, to aid your clan. The light of hope begins to stir, even though snow and ice still occur. The work that is wrought brings the growth that is sought just as a seed breaks open underground deep in your spirit so these tools are found but how they will grow is up to you they grow by way of the things that you choose we are given a light to bring us warmth and nourished from water from the time of our birth. The earth with big rocks to anchor our lives and air to teach us so the old ones may guide. The second turn of the wheel has begun. The divine is rising. The cycle begun. So once more, bring your awareness to your breath. I'll invite you in this moment to also pick a number between one and five. And as you breathe,
begin to move through the directions once more. Just thank the elements and the directions for holding this sacred space for you. Take a moment to connect with essence. And you can in this moment as well, just snuff out the flame, the candle in front. If you want, you may choose to hold the space, you know, even after the ritual. Know that what has been experienced in ritual lives forever in your cells. Need only be called forth from within whenever you choose. So feel this moving through you. And thank the directions north. And east and south, and west, above, below. And know always the wheel may turn around you, but you are ever in its center. And I will now, for those of you who have been sipping, if you've had tea and sipping at it as you go, <laughs> you're welcome to, uh, to do some tea leaf reading. I do have in front of me um, my tea leaf reading cards. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards five times. And out of those three cards, so whichever number you have decided on, I want to pick a number. Okay, I have a number. So the first, if you picked one, your three tea leaf symbols are a box a weeping willow and a quill. A box, a weeping willow and a quill. Those of you who have worked with me with these cards know that I never read the thing, the little message on the back of it, but I do work with the symbols. So box, weeping willow and quill somehow come together for a message. So that was if you chose one. Number two. Are there any twos here? Oh. You know what? Two has four because one went scooting off the altar. So we're going to include that one too. So if you chose two, flag, boat, gavel, and the one that went scooting off the altar is the moon. So if you chose two, you got a lot of things to work with. Number three. So the Tassiomancy message for number three is a key. Dogs, and a seahorse. Were there any threes in the group? Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, number four. I chose four. Wishbone. I. And egg. Interesting. The number five. Lion. Sunrise. And fly. So. I'm going to thank everybody for holding this space. I'm going to turn off the recording. But the people who are here, we can still chat about some things. But I do want to just say, take a moment to say goodbye to people who are watching it on the recording and to wish you a blessed in bulk. And may the, may the waters of the healing well flow through you, bringing cleansing and purification and the openness of the hope of the heart to move forward into the days that come as things get brighter and brighter. So in bulk blessings.